What's up everybody and welcome back to I Still Love Car Audio and Car Audio Tech Stuff. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of tech. DSP tuning tech, but not complete DSP spectrum, but the frequency range from the tweeters to the subwoofers. So I'm not going to fully go into how my DSP frequency spectrum is, all the 10 bands in my DSP. I'm not going to go into that, not because I'm hiding anything from you guys, but because everybody's car is different. Everybody's setup is different. Not everybody's using a three-way system like mine, you know, so I don't want to misguide you in the wrong direction if you have a passive setup per se, but I do want to talk about my frequency range from the top to the bottom to give you an idea where I am and maybe where you can put your system to get close to the sound that I have in mind. If you like my sound or if you want to be somewhere near there, you can use these frequencies at least as a baseline to get you started. So as I said, my system is fully active. So that means each speaker has their own amplification and there's no crossover network no passive crossover network in between. So that means I have to control the frequencies of my tweeters, my mid range, my mid bass in the doors and my subwoofers all individually. And when doing that, this is my frequency range. I actually found it a little bit easier to start from the bottom up. It, at least it works that way in my mind is less confusing to me. So let's go from my subwoofer up. So my subwoofer frequency range is from 24 Hertz to 80. I didn't go to 20 Hertz because even though my subwoofer can play it, I just didn't like the sound that I was getting out of it in my car in my particular car in your car it may sound different may sound better but i didn't like the way 20 hertz sounded so i moved it up to 24 hertz and i like that and 24 hertz is my high pass meaning it'll play from 24 hertz up and my low pass is 80 hertz so 80 hertz and down so 24 to 80 and then my mid bass in the doors are playing from 80 hertz up to 250 hertz 250 hertz down to 80, 80 to 250. My mid range and the factory dash locations are playing from 250 all the way up to 2700 hertz. And then my tweeters are playing from 2700 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. So I get the whole frequency spectrum in my car from 24 hertz on the low end all the way up to 20,000 hertz on the high end. And just in case that was throwing you off, if you're new to car audio and you're new to frequencies and tuning and what your frequency spectrum should be, at least as a baseline, I'll put it right here for you guys to check out. Now, on the other hand, if you're running a passive network, meaning you're using passive crossover networks where the amplifier or your head unit, even depending on the efficiency of the speakers, the magnet size, the motor structure, how it's built, your head unit can power these speakers or amplifier. Amplifier is always preferred, but if you only have head unit power, then so be it. The crossover network takes the input from your head unit or amplifier, that's power going in, then it divides the power out to the mid bass or mid range speaker and the tweeter. So for these Morel crossover networks, you'll see the baseline crossover points on this Morel crossover are 2200 hertz. So that means the high pass is going to be 2200 hertz up to 20,000 or whatever your tweeter can play. And the low pass is going to be from 2200 hertz down to maybe 50, 60 hertz, depending on what your speaker is capable of doing. But the crossover network, passive crossover network does that for you. Whereas when you're running actively, you have to do it all yourself. So hopefully that quick breakdown of my frequency spectrum gives you an idea of where your frequencies should be, depending on how you run your system. Again, if you're running a passive system, the passive crossover network can do that for you, or it can at least make it that much easier, as opposed to trying to find your right frequency spectrum if you're going fully active by powering and controlling your tweeters, mid-range, mid-bass, subwoofer, and so on and so forth. And if you did find that helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, whether you're new to car audio or you're seasoned or you came here for a refresher or if you came here to correct me or share your system with me. I love to talk about it. I do my best to get back to all of you guys. Every comment that you leave. I love talking with you guys. It's always fun. It's always good for me. Good knowledge for me. And it makes me feel good to share and keep this car audio community alive with my brothers and sisters out here in this non-competitive world. I mean, maybe you guys compete. I don't compete anymore. But if you do, let's talk about it. Maybe you'll do a local show in Vegas. Maybe we can meet. Maybe, or if I'm visiting California or your state, wherever you are, maybe. It's always good to hear each other's cars, especially in person. I do my best in all my videos to make it sound as best I possibly can, but in person's always better. But until next time, stay tuned.